All right, see us live. Let us, okay, so I need to figure out how, what's up? How's it going, Jasper? I was working on my uh, trailer for the uh, Halloween contest build all day. Man, uh, the, the sitting helped. Thank you for that. It's still not perfect. It's also, I don't have a controller, so my movement, you know, when I'm trying to go sideways, it's kind of like, ooh, kind of kind of bounces a little bit as I'm trying to just, and then it's not a very perfectly smooth camera, you know? Uh, I'm on time. I was actually, late, well, like half a minute early. At least I'm on time for my time. It, it says 10.01 now. Okay, this is all gotta be redone here. Let's see. So, yeah, not that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Well, I mean, fair enough. You can. You don't have to hang around. I appreciate you, though. I think we're gonna change this all to the marble, but I want to. Maybe make it a little bit larger, because it feels like that's too cramped now with this being there. Let's go to the bigger tool. All right, so now we got that, and let's see. Maybe wide enough to do two of the fences. Let's go down to this block. So first off. All right, so it was three originally. Nope, it was four originally, because it does come out one more, except for that piece. Okay. Hmm. I could always have that not stick out as much there. Let's, uh... Let's do that on both sides. Let's see what I think about this. So one more. Alright, so to keep that the same, I would do that. But I guess it, for this section, I guess it doesn't have to be the same. It could be a little different. Because it is, after all, a balcony. And I could change how, like maybe, maybe it goes up to the corner instead. And like a step back. Yeah, I kind of like that. Hmm, how should I carry that up or should I carry it? Does it matter that I carry it up? All right, let's get these things. Now, let's take a look. I right, so I rewatched actually the Hollow Halls. I rewatched the uh, trailer for the Hollow Halls. Yep, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Awesome. Should I come out one, two? Let's let's uh, step over here. Maybe, maybe pop, well, I kind of like that T look right there. But, uh, so I rewatched the trailer, and I was looking for certain things. They actually use this and the iron fence in multiple places, the devs do. So I'm, I'm confident that, that we made the right choice in picking that. Doesn't go through, perfect, okay. Alright, 
let's take that and let us go I don't know if I can jump that way let's go around okay let's take a grand look at it and see what we think it does look a little odd that it sticks out and I don't have that stick out so I might move those fences in a little bit but or out a little bit but I, I dig it uh, I like I like the look how it's got that kind of like a T shape and how it tapers back and now that I look at it I think I want to have it three layers three layers thick so that it actually meets it up a little bit make it a little meatier okay let's get rid of this whole thing I need a front window for my shop and this is what I used initially but it covered too much of the display so I changed the jail fence oh gotcha oh yeah 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 no the jail fence is good it it's it's a really good way to fill a large space but actually look like look pleasing let's see no I'll stop stop snapping yes snappity there we go now we can get this there we go It kind of looks cool doing that, even. Are you going to make me thicken it up again? Dang it. Because that looks cool. It really, really gives it a three dimension. Okay, that's alright. Um, no. There we go. That is much more impressive. I want to fix those uh, fences. Move them just a bit. I also looked... I'm going to have to do a lot more in here because they have a lot of the stuff where they'll like take these and they'll have cascading, almost like a waterfall. One block, one block, one block. And because of the way these things do that number where they have this bit sticking down it kind of it has a really neat neat look to it so i'm going to have to find places where i can do some of that relief and actually make it look a little bit more than just flat walls you know we did that up there so we'll have to do something too all right i do like them matching but feel like it doesn't quite look right. What if we snapped it where it's supposed to be? Eh, nope, nope. Get out of you. Does it go through the wall? Ooh, kinda. I can dig that. Oh, we got a nice big balcony. Yeah, that looks looks way better as that kind of like T shape. So much better. Part of me wants to make it a bell up there, but I wonder if I can do like Nope, not that one. Just step it a little bit. See what I think about that. I'll, I'll look and see if that grows on me. Alright, so we got that, and we need to fatten it down there. I still need to decide how much deeper I'm going in this because I gotta bring these columns down. And it, this thing, is it going to be used for anything? I don't know anymore. I used to have a section over here past this. Don't need more. I like how I distressed it, so I think I want to use it for something. I just don't know what yet. And I don't want these columns to be, like, that tall. I think that's ridiculous. Oh. I wonder if that's even past the barrier now. 
Let's go find out. Uh, if it's in the shroud, I ain't gonna be able to get back out though. Um, well, let's, let's find out. Oh, we're still in the boundary. That's <laughs> a long way down, man. Oh my. Yeah. I don't know how much I want to... <laughs> we need a bigger tool to dig with. Even if it's just the big block that we use and it's double its thickness so it's an actual square. We just need a bigger block. How did you get closed? Maybe I had it closed and didn't open it? I don't know. Alright, let's go back. And let's do this jobby. Go down to where it stops. There we go. So now, bigger tool. Alright, now I gotta be careful not to back up too far. I would also like, at some point, so in the hollow hall, they have like, um, the, the bone piles. The bone piles, and then the glowing stuff, inc including the glowing stuff that hurts you. I would love to be able to place all those things at some point. Hell, I'd love to be able to place the red shroud, or not shroud, sorry, the red, um, I know we all call it lava, it's not really lava, but that stuff. Because I think that'd be cool to put in a base. And maybe even, probably way down the road, uh be able to do environmental stuff like uh, like the actual shroud. Okay. So like that, we'll have to... Uh... Yeah, I like that a lot. Probably we'll do... As well as potions. So, yeah. Oh! Did you ever play Valheim? I mean, a lot of people that play in Shrouded have played Valheim, that's why I ask. They uh, did a... Uh... Their publisher, um, so it was an Iron Gate, but the publisher of Valheim, let's see if I have any of this stuff over here, did a, um, like a, like a live on YouTube today, it was pretty cool, but the point of it was that they were talking about the various things that they did and what they've added and all this stuff, and, oh, you know what? This would be a really good spot to do these big boys. Um, 
because you can do potions and a variety of other stuff in there, cooked foods and all that stuff. And I'd love to be able to do that here. I think everybody would love to be able to do that stuff. Whoa! Uh, I don't know if that's going to go that far. Okay, so if we do the big boys, should the big boys be in front of the... How far do they have to be? Is that far enough? Or does that just look dumb? See, that's weird. Now they look short for some reason. But yeah, I would love to be able to play place cooked items. God, it's weird how it looks so short now. Try to place it in, in the kitchen or in the uh, other room and it looked massive. Now it looks itty bitty. I'm thinking more like. Now I gotta figure out what's the damn center of the place. That's fun. Is that the center? That looks like the center. All right, now I gotta go get that other one down because I don't like its placement. Oh shit! It'll let me right here. Nice. Now the question is, do I like this placement? I mean, it makes sense where it is for sure. Because we're not actually gonna have this thing forever. I just have it here. You know what? Why don't I just go ahead? Now that I don't need this, and let's just put this, let's put it on the side, let's see, no I can't get to it if it's on the side, let's put that there and let's get rid of these that we don't actually need. There we go. So we have this, we can get up, okay, that works. Um, let's see. Nice. Gives me something to stand on. And then I could do another one on that beam. You know, now that I think about it, that beam there doesn't need to necessarily be thick like this one. Like, this is the your central beam, and that's just a support beam near the end, just like those two right there that are going to go down as well. I think that works. Probably should take those across the ceiling though. Yep, I think I should. Also, I think I want to now get rid of... Yep, it's too far. Okay. I want to get rid of those little indents right there. I don't like them anymore. I like it going up, but I don't like it up there. So, let's go up. Nope, too high. There we go. Is that going to be too low? No. Close. All right, now get to the right one. Make it a little more clean, even though I'm going to make it all messy once I do the, I don't even know what you call it, the cascading effect of the that material, this one. So, we'll get that going. I like that better. Matches that one better. Might even consider bringing that down too. It doesn't necessarily need to be that high. Okay, so that's two, and those are four. Let's take a look and see what we think. Idiot.
All right, so now we got a little more chunky. And uh, technically, the outside doesn't, and I'm going to be covering it anyway. So let's go do that now. Yeah, that might be a problem. I think we'll be all right. Spot. Looks like it. Except I'm down one. <laughs> there we go. We got a big thick, three big thick beams. Two of them that are two, uh, four wide, and one of them that's six wide. And well, I mean, once I finish it, then I will. Alright, very good. Let's get rid of all this. Alright, so now we have our three big heavy beams for the main vault room, whatever we're calling this space. Oh, right, I can't put another one of these at the end because of, um, I don't remember if it was your idea, putting a mirrored deal over there on that side. I like that idea, so I think I will, uh, we'll keep that and we'll put that over there. So, maybe we'll work on the kitchen too. I need lights. Oh yeah, door. I forgot about that. So if we do a door... Oh, then you fix that too. Oh, oh, look at you. Nope, that's the right one. the same material. Yeah, I don't mind that little cascade there. I think that works. 
we'll probably put a few bibs and bobs over here on this balcony just to dress it up a little bit. Hmm. Should I go in one more? Eh, leave it alone. I think in the kitchen doesn't really need to be massive by any stretch. No, let's go big. Okay. So... gonna be good. We still go a little bit more maybe. A little bit higher. We'll keep it fairly bespoke. going on right there. I don't know, but I think I want to stop that direction because I got some green light bleeding over from something. Okay, so width-wise, I think that's fairly good. Height-wise, I kind of like that. I'm not too upset by the height. Let's get a little bit more in depth. Alright, that's not deep enough, but got a good size. We'll have some like chimneys and stuff that go up from devices that we use for cooking. I plan let's go take a look real quick. I plan to make use of some of the kitchen that I've created before, now it's not all my design. Some of it was Ketmall that I kind of took for my own and made my own. Uh, let's go to Troll Bridge. So while the items don't always do the cooking, like for example, this thing is actually the Alchemy Station, but it looks like a pot of 
soup or something. You got a big old, big old potluck soup going on in there. So I can do something like that. I'm going to do something similar maybe to that. I like the idea of raising it up and then you can put a, an internal fire underneath it. And, and a few things like that, maybe bring it down, wreath kind of an open space inside. We could also place a few tables in there for like where the servants would eat because obviously they're, they're not going to be allowed to eat with the king and all that stuff or the whomever it is that's in control. And then of course we'll have like some hand washing sinks and some dishware cabinetry and stuff like that in there. Like, you know, like servants could have a, a mediocre table like this or something like that. Maybe we'll just make them stone. Um, maybe even uh, they're growing a few things in there. Kind of like I did out here too. Something, something of these nature, kind of just to... This is hard to do. It's a pain in the butt. But stuff like that we can do to... Uh, liven up a kitchen and make it you know homely but we got to think it's got to be able to cook for a lot if this hollow hall is going to be anything of any size and whatnot it's, it's got to be able to cook for quite a few people so we got to make it decent coming along. I like the idea of building on stuff like this with uh, chat because well, like live here on Twitch or whatever, it doesn't have to be specific to Twitch, but because you know, people can pop in with different ideas. Hey, what if you did it this way? And I'm like, hey, yeah, it's a kind of a cool idea. Whereas I tend to get uh I don't know, builder's block, is that, that a, a good term? Hmm, should we have this also a step down? Just make it a little more intimate. Let's let's do that. Let's bring this one step down. I think that's plenty far enough. Alright, go far enough so it does it. Let's fix this. Yeah, we can have we can have a, an edge wreathing it. I think that works. And that'll be the wall. Yeah. Let's have a nice nice comfort edge to wreath it. So, so we're going to go right there. There we go. Oh, I do need one more. It's going to let me. There it did. I don't want it going too far. Just to that out. Oh. There you go. Make sure I'm not sticking out. Nope. Wait. Nope. Okay.
Yep, that's correct. I always find it weird certain tiles are so much larger than other tiles in thickness, so it looks weird when you place them sometimes versus other ones. coming along. Alright, let's look at this wall over here. I don't really care necessarily if it's centered. Okay, that worked. portion of one more back. There we go. Let's get some more light. I think this space would probably be more like torches and but not necessarily the green flame like maybe the green flame we think of it as it's expensive to make it oops it requires I don't know certain oh we could say the the lore behind it is it requires that green crap that you have to go into the hollow halls that's what they were mining and that's what also turned them all to be like weird skeleton things. And that's what makes the green fire, so we maybe use that those a little sparingly for that reason. I like to try to have some kind of a story for my builds within reason. I'm not necessarily the best storyteller, but I like to have something going on. So it's not just bland, not just a build to be a build, but a build for some purpose. Yeah, it always weirds me out when that happens. The localized light goes a little funky. Alright, I think that'll be big enough. So we want to do... I think I think we'll just, yeah, we'll just make this the wall right here. Right where one of these stops. The ceiling, I guess. Should have taken that over one more. And 
and one left. Alright, so now we have a fairly good sized kitchen. What are we going to do with it? Um, man, that's a really good question. Okay, we gotta still start getting stuff. We'll grab things that we can use to make it something. Right now, we'll just start with one of things. The kiln could be a pizza oven. We'd do double ovens. Definitely a grinding stone. I love it when I go right into empty ones, not even thinking. Kitchen ceiling's a bit low. I'd extend it a bit to build vents above that look like professional kitchen. It's reasonable. Missing something here? It's over here. Yeah. There it is. The alchemy station. Uh, let's go drop a bunch of this stuff off so we have it down there. Man, yeah, it's reasonable. Okay. It's uh plopping items down for us to use. What I'll do with this is I'll bring it up a little bit and we'll make this a uh, light, a, light a fire underneath it so it looks like it's working and we'll make it a uh, pizza oven. And then we got our double ovens. We're using fancy stone blocks for the tables and incorporating ovens into it. Ooh, yeah, I like that idea. I might also change out this, the floor in here. I don't think it needs to match necessarily. Just do maybe something different with it. This I'm going to do my trick where I put it in the wall and it looks like a machine. Uh, a way to operate a machine. And then this I'm going to do my trick where I hide everything except for just a few bits and bobs or something like that. And it'll be our... Uh, do it just like that, and it'll be our, uh, I don't know, pot roast, something. Uh, let's see, I can get put those back, because I'm definitely not going to use those again right now. I keep grabbing some stiff. Just the brown part looks good, yeah. Oh, here. Wrong side. Let me go back here and put this light up. Alright. Uh, I grabbed that from the other spot, didn't I? Whoops. Alright, that's fine. I just did it again. Okay. So... 
seems a little bit weird to have a well in there, but there's got there's well would be well somewhere. Could try to make it a feature maybe. Drying rack for beef jerky. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do double, run double of those for double pots. Could incorporate a workbench as a literal workbench. So we could have a completely separate room somewhere in this place that is like a, a farm, a, an underground farm. Where we have beehives and seed beds and things like that. I kind of want to put the ectoplasm press in there. We'll, we'll put something green in it and make it look like it's going and it's turning the green stuff into something. Something nefarious, probably. Of course, this actually might look a little, bit, little better as a pizza oven. I don't know. We'll, th we'll think about that. No, no. I need to go grab some fireplaces. Beer stein? Alcohol distiller, maybe? Come up with something for that, maybe? I do like putting some Athenors around just as decoration in a kitchen. Yep, scientific instruments can be good. Let's go look at the of or the uh, fireplace stuff. Why do I keep picking empty boxes? All right, so that's a, that. This is something else that we could use to control some of the empty wall spaces. Like in the uh, banquet hall. I like building those into walls. I think it looks nice. It just doesn't seem like something that would go there. Scavenger bonfires, I don't mind doing them, but we're going to do them down like near the bottom. Oh, sinks. We need sinks. I have to come back for more. <laughs> right, now that I covered all the walls with stuff to make them not look funky, now I don't have the easiest place to put this. You would think it would be like right over here on the opposite side where the king and queen people are. What if I did this kind of jobby? And then I make some kind of a hood going up or something. I have been thinking we probably need something in these corners anyway. Oh, I got a wall that doesn't match all the way. That's interesting. Uh, let's do... For right now, let's just do this. Snap to it. Jerk. I 
So now this, I think I want to do copper. I'll go get copper and I'll do some kind of a copper flute going up or something right there. But I like having the corner Of course, that's going to mess with that too, isn't it? Yep. I need to move that whole thing if I do this. You suck. But I do like having it. Okay. I heard you, Wolfie. It looks better, except now I think I need to do a single ring around the edge on the outside. That's a trippy shadow, man. I thought <laughs> I thought that was coming down too low, and I'm like, what? I don't remember messing that up. Alright, I'll leave those for now. More stuff to drop off. Yeah, I want to do two of those. Need some sinks. Maybe we'll figure out somewhere to put a well, maybe. I think if I do it, I want to drop it down into the ground further. So where there's not much of it coming up, maybe we make... Hmm. We put something around it or figure something out. Mr. Press. We'll find something for you to do. This might be our oven instead of uh, the forge. Probably have a couple Athenors around. Some instruments for the hell of it. Oh, if we could have hanging stuff, like this thing would be great on a portion of ceiling where you hang spices and things from. If we had such a thing, that would be good. Okay. Uh, let's go... Do I need the side ones? I don't think I do, as big as that thing is. Okay. Let's put the lights up in the correct bin that I got them from. Over here. Get that out of my bag for now. No cheap viewers for you. Oh, I had stuff in here. Boxes. Yep, we'd have boxes of stuff. Obviously, we'll have a billion dishes. Buckets. We'd have some buckets in there. I kind of think stone door is what I want to use. Ooh, but polished door. Ah, uh, iron door. Let's, uh, actually, let's take the whole thing. Let's put that on the balcony, see what we think of it. I'm going to have some picture. You know, I don't start taking all that stuff. That's going to take me forever to do anything with it. What else we got just chilling? This is all my extra stuff when I that I use when I'm building. I overly duped certain things. Yeah, we'll have some tables in there for sure. Overly duped too many things and when I do the when I do all this and, and sometimes I just have lots of extras to work with. 
bet I could do something with that. Some cupboards. I want to be able to place these by hand instead of having to use the the thingy, the display stand or whatever it's called. All right. Let's try something different here. This plus one, maybe? This on, on both sides, maybe? Okay, let's try this. Let's go back to this. Center it. Ish. Let's see about putting one of these on either side. Just like I did with the chairs and the thing on the other side. Come on. Man, getting things pixel perfect is really annoying. It looks like chairs for tall people. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Alright, let's see how this door looks over here. Do I need to widen it? No. I think uh shorten it. That's what I need to do is shorten it. Okay, so where's the correct spot? Is that middle? Looks like it's middle. Alright, but I gotta shorten it. It's it won't let me with this here. Well, I could try. See I wish Okay, so we have this door. What if the door was a template? This door has a rounded top on it. Other doors are square and whatever. So instead of, okay, instead of the props they give us, they give us this door as a prop. They give us this uh, candelabra as a prop and this light as a prop. What if they gave us a door as a template? Then when we go to craft it, we use different materials to do different things. So if I wanted this to be bronze, I would use bronze instead of iron. If I wanted it to be uh, fancy wood, I would use whatever fancy wood. But it would still be this rounded arch door with the, the way it looks. It would just be a different material look. Then this stone around it, maybe I wanted it to be the red marble. Or maybe I wanted it to be this. Or wood or something else. That if they could, I don't know that they could do that, but if they can do that, I think that would be so much better. So they bring out different styles of doors, different styles of windows, etc., and let us choose the material to build the specific window we want, or door, or etc. I think that would be awesome if they could manage to do that. Okay. Okay. I, uh, apparently that is not actually the middle. I need to bring it back one because I don't like where that placement is. Because I would really love to have that match. Uh, the steel the steel door portion, I'm or iron door, I'm fine with. And and now we got steel coming out soon, so then it could be a steel door at some point. Alright, so I'm fine enough with that for now. Um, okay. I don't remember putting that up in the air, but sure. Oh, it's the Athenor. That's why. That thing's a pain in the butt. The collision on it is just dumb. Like, I'm hitting it right here. I'm, I'm still hitting it because I'm up in the air on this one. Oh, shit. Athenor's of stairs. I 
I mean, you still have to use some other blocks, but Athenor's is stairs. As like um, a challenge stair, because you don't know where the stair actually is, but it's the collision of the Athenor. That could be really a, a really interesting design feature in, in a in one of the builds. Like maybe you only have it stick out halfway out the wall. Damn it! Now I want to try it. So like. Okay. It's so like we do that. And then. Collision. Yeah, look how far the collision is. Um, then we do like. How high up is the collision? About that. Let me do this one, and it goes in. Now, I remove my block. <laughs> Maybe. Now, let's see. Let's see if I can uh, walk up the Athenor stair. Ha <laughs> it works! That's so weird. Okay, it's pretty tight though. Okay, it's really tight. But it works! Damn it, I'm gonna go get a couple more and try some more. Wait here, let me uh... <laughs> it works! Oh man, that's funny. I didn't realize there were six in that, okay. Why not? We got an extra, so we'll bring that in here too. Starting to look like a some kind of a kitchen. All right, let's go get a couple Athenors. See what we can do with this dumb-looking staircase, invisible staircase. You know, <laughs> that might be my next video, just to like name and shame Keen. Like, yo, bros, can you guys fix the collision on this thing? I can use it as stairs, man. I see nothing there. All right, let's go upstairs. Invisible stair uh, this way. This is totally dumb and funny. Okay, so that was up one. This needs to go up two. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Let me put it in there. Looks awful silly having a bunch of Athenor sticking out of the wall. All right, moment of truth. Can I get up to the same level I could jump up to? <laughs> Just by walk. The hell was that?
one of 16 players. It's weird. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> the bees are coming. The bees are coming. I can hear them. They're mad. I hear them. All right, let's go deal with the bees because they'll they'll find a way in and like knock me off the wall or something when I'm in here. Dude, I'm gonna find something just dumb to do with those Athenors as some kind of a hidden staircase just to be silly. All right, where you at, bees? There you are. All right. <laughs> I don't know what Keen did. In, um, let's see. Is that Melodies of the Mire update that messed him up? I don't really remember which one it was that really effed him up, but oh yeah, we definitely need barrels. 100%. You know what? I don't want these stone ones right now. I do want those, though. Why do I keep doing that? Those are empty. Probably need that kind of stuff. Probably need some regular buckets. Get some of those. Get some of those. Might as well get some of those. Mm. Can't think we'll need that kind of stuff. Probably have a little bit of books in there. Just like a a bookshelf of recipes and stuff. Probably do some real basic mats underneath like where they're standing for prep. I think we're definitely going to want some shelving. I don't know what yet. To place items on. I think I want to do the same I did for... Oh, stop opening empty once you dummy. Where's the nightstand? Is it over here? Stools. It is. So this, two, three, one, two, three. We'll do a double set of racks for uh, plates and whatnot. We'll do three high. Sink them in. Really go uh, fancied up. I. It's funny, you know, I'm doing all this work and all this for basically nothing because people only really use the public resource world for exactly what it's for and that is stopping by and grabbing a bunch of crap and moving on but it's still fun all right i gotta start putting stuff out here because i'm gonna run a room Just gonna have to remember to move all this crap. It won't be hard to miss. Shipment of barrels. How about what the hell am I doing? How about some buckets to go along with your barrels, sir? Ever have too many buckets? Alright, so these, wherever we do it, probably one of the things like it'll bank both, that's a good idea, banking both of the doors, or sorry, both sides of the door, will be these that will, will put in what it looks like it's in cabinetry, and then 
we will have plates and dishes and all that stuff in there ready to be taken out for service. So we'll just do that on both sides. We'll be built, built them in like a cabinet, uh, like you would build in a cabinet. It's not for nothing. I love visiting other players' world to see what they have built. Yeah, no, so... Um, when did I see that? I saw that something. I believe, don't don't quote me on this, because I've watched, I literally downloaded all 31 gig of their videos. My friends and I call this resource world Ikea. Yep, no, it's pretty accurate. Probably make it an Ikea replica ever fish my Sky City. You're the one using all 160 by 160 by 160, right? For that Sky City, like you're just going to go max balls out as far as it can be. I think that's, you're the one that said that. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> and again, I, I don't know that I have everything straight because I literally downloaded all 31 gig of their, I, I went to their uh, Shrouded's um, press kit because I needed stuff for my trailer. And so I'm not positive on what video I'm thinking of, but I saw... Well, yeah, I mean, 160 cubed is pretty small. I mean, it's it's big, but it is still it's still little. Um, the problem you you run it, all of us run into is the frame rate starts to just tank when you start building big ass shit like that. It's actually more so when you dig like this, which is why I gotta kind of be careful. Like just standing here, I'm at 36 FPS with a 4070 Ti Super and 32 gig and a 13900K. Now I'm up to 44. Um, either I read somewhere or I saw somewhere that visiting each other's worlds and like player share or something like that is coming. Now, is that coming in update four? Is that what I'm remembering? Or is it coming later? And we already knew that anyway, that it was coming later. I doubt I don't have a good answer for I swear it's coming in update four, but I've seen so many different teases by Keen on on Discord, on Twitter, on YouTube, that I'm kind of lost in the details. I guess the best way to say it, don't remember every little shred of everything they've said. So, you know, take that for what it is. And when I talk about it, they're looking at making, oh yeah, that'd be good. Like 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 in, a, in the hallway, yeah. Um, wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, this one's the wrong size, I remember that now. Um, they wanna make it so that, not that sharing a save file is difficult, but some people still have issues doing it. They want to make it to where you're just like, click, boom, oh, this is awesome. Or, you know, it, something close to that. You want to create, oh yeah, cre we know creative mode's coming. But even Keen doesn't know what that's going to be. Whoa, 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 mister. Uh, the reason for, I think, this, Entrouded's built on a proprietary engine. This is not Unreal Engine, this is not uh, Unity. Uh, or Godot, obviously it's not Godot, but this is all built by themselves. So whatever they do for either a creative mode or for mod support, they have to figure out how to give us that tool where, I don't know, we don't go in and like steal their code and make our own game out of their code or something like that, if that makes any sense. So... I'm I'm hyped. I, I'm I'm really interested in seeing what they can come up with for us. Um, but yeah, I definitely want creative mode. Like bad. The the camera for this game is is I just fight it constantly when I'm building and trying to do anything else. So it's it yep yep creative mode is uh big on my list. Oh, 
I lied. How many did I put up there? <laughs> I have no idea how many ceilings I put up there. All right, let's uh, let's go up another full chunk. Can I reach doing that? I cannot reach doing that. Okay, so let's stand on things. Can't see stuff's in my way. Story wise, be able to clear the shroud and have some sense of progress. Um I have a feeling that might actually happen. So the weather system that we're getting with um, update four, they have been very clear that it's just the beginning. This is just like like weather 1.0 or something like that. And I have a feeling that we're going to be able to do more. Um, with weather comes the potential for water. We already know there's... Uh, uh, frozen waterfalls. Uh, we've seen them. Not too high. There, got rid of it. Good. So, yeah, I, I think probably, probably that's going to come. Now, will it be where we completely and totally remove the shroud from XYZ space and it just never comes back? I don't know. Um,. Based off of how Keen has built the game, and the fact that everything resets the way uh, since it's um, since Enshrouded is not procedural, and it's all handcrafted, they they made the choice that it all resets. Some people don't like that. I think it's fine; doesn't bother me at all. But I get it. I understand why some people don't like it. Um, there. So I don't know if that works well with removing the shroud, other than maybe quest locations. So we have a specific location that we have to go do the thing, whatever the thing is, pick it, pick your flavor. And in doing that, uh, free some village. Uh, I don't know. And in that, in the process of doing that, it removes the shroud. Or we do something that then removes the shroud, and that's part of quest completion or something. I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it better, but I I, I could see it being tied that way. Did I go really? Yeah, I did. Okay. suppose while I'm up here you know what let's do a different ceiling let's do this as our ceiling so that it's something different than the floor the red and red makes you hungry so that's a good idea Nope, wrong one. Get off of it.
Okay, you jerk. There we go. Back to this one. Back up. Oh. Literally back up. Aw. You're not gonna let me stand on you. Boo. What is going on right there? That one little turd sitting there drives me crazy when it does this stuff. Solid across there. It's probably no. Yeah, I don't know. Fine, be a jerk. Okay, so that's missing something, probably this. Uh oh. Alright, didn't mess anything up, so that's good. And fixed it. Cool. Alright. Back to work. Here we go. like the red but it it needs to be something more like have beams of the opposite in here cuz just red is a little much Let's get my eye. grab a drink real quick reach there. Not gonna reach here. Gotta reach somewhere. see what happens when I put this up.
All right. It's tall now. So let's do. Yeah, I'll, fi I'll figure out what I'm going to do there. I definitely want to do something different with the floor, though. Hmm. Maybe highly polished because it does that checkerboard. That could look cool. Maybe a little fancy for a kitchen, but it still look cool. Oh, wrong way. Mm, here, maybe. Well blocks awful fancy. That just looks like hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look, see what we would like. All right. Now, let's change to, so you got checkerboard, which is totally fine, or, yeah, that doesn't, I, I, I like it, but not for this space. Yeah, no. Let's try highly, highly polished, see what we think. Highly polished could be a little much. Or it could be just right, maybe. Really? How did that happen? Like I hand placed that little bit right there. Same thing. Oh, you know what I might have originally when I set the wall a certain distance, I might have just popped out one little bitty chunk just to get it a little further. So if I go all the way with one over, or not, it does it all the way. Or if I just barely edge it, then it edges it cleanly. Man, that's a... Alright, I want to I wanna see the difference here. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's clean, but it is different. One at all uniform. missing some. What the heck did that do? I don't even know what it did.
Huh? They just put it right back or something. That's so weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's so weird. It's putting it right back. Uh, okay. I'll deal with that section later. Alright, so, yeah, I kind of like it. So, decent floor. Um, we got lots of stuff here. You know what we could do? It's about the middle. Alright. <laughs> Let's pick up our staircase. Move our staircase. Let's keep it way over here out of the way, because it gets in the way. It's like magnets repelling each other. So weird. Alright. So I've got an idea for that. One more wide. here. Actually, let's leave that there. Okay, now I need to... Actually, I need to go down some. Temporary light, so we can see what the hell we're doing. Okay, so, if we did this... Let's go... What blocks do I have? I got stone. So I'm thinking like this space could be, I don't know, wishing well is not the right term, but it could, it could be like, a, I don't know, a fountain room or something, and where it, it's just barely bigger than that well, and on the top we'll have the, we'll have those lights up top glowing down on it. So it's just this little, it's just a little nothing of a space in here. It's just barely bigger than what we're using this for. Really just a reason to use the the well. And I think I want to put it directly on stone. So Let's do stone, shall we? Is that one? Is that the same height as this? I can't tell. Come on, camera. Work with me, not against me. Use. Okay, you know what? 
We're gonna fix this. There you go, now I can get all the way back here. Alright. So we have it on physical stone. We'd have it so we'd be like... Like that, or something, right? You come in, and this is basically just going to come right around on both sides. So, let's move that. Sorry, light, but I, as much as I need you, I need you out of my way. Uh, this one. And then, let's see. That's awful big. Damn it. Right against the edge or one back? Let's go one back. Okay. Which I can't because the camera won't let me. We got the sides. I think once we stick it down, we'll just go ahead and pave it. And then we can put some buckets in here around it. I like that. Okay, so, but I need to go higher by a little bit. That much, maybe. Wow, I actually got it. Shock. Alright, let's do this. Let's do... Okay, so we're gonna go... Probably that high. I think I have to do it by hand. I don't think I have a choice. So the green will be at this height. and everything else below. Is that right? That's not right. That is incorrect. Still should be this. So then, nope. Green. So one, two, three. Four. Yep. 
Yay, working in these tight quarters works really well. I should have uh, not put that back wall on before I finish this, huh? So then that would be right. Yep, that's what I want. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. Because this is going to be double thick. So it frames it. Wolfie, why are you out there killing people? I hear him right above us walking around. Alright, so now we have light in here. Put this guy down. What did I just do? There. Put him down. Okay, I like that. And then this, go to this one, voila, now we need some buckets, must has buckets, and some containers, Very nice. I like it when a plan comes together. Maybe we'll have a regular bucket. Maybe this will be right over here. Sink. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want to sink in there. Maybe. Seems like there should definitely be more barrels. Like the barrels are the water, maybe. Put a stool in there as well. I don't know why we need a stool, but maybe you got to change the uh, ceiling lights. <laughs> there we go. I like it. Nice little room. You got your... Oh. Mm, didn't think about that. Damn it. Mm. Oh, I don't want to move that whole thing just to fix that. That's a lot of work just to fix that spot. I'm going to leave it. For now, at least, I might finish it some other time. That's a lot of work for that little, just that little bitty circle. To put, like, the glow blocks or something in it. Make it look like water. All right.
So I can dig that. That's a good thing for that. We got a better ceiling now, which has some weird anomalies going on. Like that freaking thing that I gotta figure out. And these couple little jobbies there and there and there. I'll figure them out eventually. Probably do some beams in here, or a beam at least. All right, what else do we want? It to, what I got in my bags? Nothing. Oh man, now I got to do the kitchen. This is gonna be interesting. Oh man, I got this big open space now for this kitchen, and I don't even know where to start. Okay, alright, all right, hang on a second, let's do... So I feel dumb if it's just ringing the, the outsides. It doesn't seem like it would be in appropriate enough. Okay, so, a kitchen, what would you do when you come into the kitchen? You come to the kitchen... You gotta have... Let's start on one side. Let's just move everything. That's something I really hope they can fix one day. So it stops spamming that every time you pick one of these things up that is a quest related thing. It's like, I got it the first time, bros. I don't need you to tell me every single time. Surely there's a way they can fix that. And I think I don't want to use this in the kitchen. I think I want to use the other thing and we'll make that a uh, pizza oven. Regular oven ovens. Those will need to be built into a wall somewhere next to like a countertop. Alright, so let's see if I can fix these ends. It could just be that I had stuff on them and that's why it wasn't responding. I hope. Okay. Or it's because I removed some tiny little chunk of it. That's what it was. Let's get this going. Hoorah. Alright, so we got that on all of those edges. Okay. So I definitely want cabinets here built. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's the fireplace. Okay, so if I'm going to build in cabinets here, the question comes, should I have more than just the cabinets built in, like 
And what would I do? What I do? This whole thing as as a built-in wall, with maybe deep uh, put a ladder up and have deep deep storage up top maybe. Cabinetry and whatever I don't know. All right, so let's do. could also then push over the door to give that some interest. Come down on, oh, I need to go one higher though. Maybe. All right, so if we did that, and then let's take a look at these real quick. So we're gonna build them in like that. Let's put that on, see what I need for my other blocks. Then on backwards. Okay, so let's try like this. That works. And then we can do three high and maybe up higher we put stuff that's, I don't know, not a display. All right, back to you. And then we could even have like, well, hang on, let me look at these. Would this even be a good spot for them? Because you could come in and maybe, maybe this section is a lot of our like oven stuff. Maybe I need to th I need to figure out some decent ways to do like upper and lower cabinets too. So if I don't want that sticking back, I need to go higher anyway because of the fire. But I don't want that sticking back. If I, I mean, if I want to be able to see the back and not the wall. Almost seems like I need to come out a full additional course. So do this, go back to this one. Actually. Let's let's wreath it in a nice look. And it gives it that black too, so I kinda like that. Come on. Really? Can you just freaking play nice? Okay, so that that definitely could work. Bring the oven up one more so I can put a fire under it. It's awful high though. If I come up one more. Because honestly, that's about the right height to put in. Here, let's go up one more uh, and we'll put the next one right next to it and let's see what happens. See what we think if it's too high, if it's whatever. I like the idea that this is the like the baking side. Okay, so. Add this here. Well, I, I don't hate that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I just thought of something. A cabinet below that we store stuff beneath it. See, this is when we need to be able to... Um, I can't do the cabinet below it because then I can't do the fire. That's not going to work. If I do a cabinet below, I can't put the fire in it. Uh, 
Uh, da -da -da. Let's see, what fire do I want? I think this is going to be too much. I also think it's going to be too far back, but let's try to center it right there. Might work. Jerk. Yeah, you can see the flame in there. All right. I get the other one in my pocket. Like, where's the other one? Derp. All right, so double ovens. Center. And then we'll do some kind of a hood that I kind of want to do copper. Hood that goes up and tapers in. Okay, so that can work there. We're bread oven boy. I don't know if this is going to work because I got a big ass thing on the other side. Might have to do this one more like this. And then kind of build it. Okay. Alright, let's try. So that comes out two. I want to do the same thing. I still want to try to figure something out. Some kind, something I can do with cabinets down there. We'll figure, figure it out eventually. Um, let's see. Let's do. Change to that. Oh, no. That got messed up, didn't it? So, something like that. We don't need to have this all the way like that, but I wanted to ring, make sure that one was ringed well. Well, let's go get some, uh, some copper so we can see copper and maybe a little bit of brass to bronze excuse me see what we can do with that uh, here okay so we got I'm gonna put this guy back we got copper we got bronze and I want to put that back. I don't like you. Go away. Well, I do like it. I just don't like it for this instance. Put you back. Grab 
that. I got an idea for that. Whoa. All right. Uh, got that on. Okay, good. Should I do it there? Still too much of a six through. Okay. Whoa. It like tried to pick up and do something else all at the same time. Okay, let's go back and do this again. Put this in there. Should I turn it a little bit? Oh, turn it. That's going to be even harder to deal with. Let's try that. No. No, why'd you do that? Okay. So, kind of maybe the idea is this bellows feeds the pizza oven that would just be wood in there. But whatever, it's, it's something. It's, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, da, 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 da. almost should go into that, but then I can't have these there if it does. Can I? One, two... No, I can. Get up in the air. It's not exactly what I meant to do, but it works good enough. I wish that was more than one width depth. I should have thought about that ahead of time. If this was, wall was too depth, I could take out a chunk of the back and make it like bronze or something. Okay, so now let's step it back in. one 
And for a little bit of decoration, let us change It's not beautiful, but it certainly isn't bad. It gives an idea of a, a vent hood, range hood kind of thing. I am not upset by it. I do need to figure out what I'm going to do for lighting. I think actually this would be a good spot. Whether I leave it here or not is subject to figuring out how much I like that, but I think that's good. Let's uh, start working on our cabinets. Squeeze it right there. Very nice. One in the middle sticks out just a little bit much. Well, I'll bring the top one out a little further just to compensate so I don't have to grab that middle one, which will not be easy. There you go. Looks all right. Um, so, what we could do... Oh, yeah, good luck. Jesus. How am I going to get you just that light? Wow, I got it. We could put the lights right above there. Or we could put pendants or something like that. For now, we're going to put these. It seems weird to have torches, because how the hell would you get up here to mess with your torch? But I like it as a as a spot to put them. All right, so we got a nice vent hood. We got our our makings of our uh, the the bakery section over here. We definitely are going to want to have. Let's see, is there anything else that's that's really like baking like? I mean, the fireplace is, and I like having that too. Okay, so if I did the fireplace also. I want to see something. I mean, the idea behind it is you just cook right on top of it, so that makes sense for it to be there. Low. I could do that. Bring it back to where it's like... Bring it back so it's that, and we just wreath the kitchen just like it is maybe I think I want to pick a different tile than the red though um, could always come in a little bit okay so let's try that and see what we think I think I want to put it here So if we're going to put it here, we're going to overcome that a little bit. Oh, oh, yep. There's something else we need to do. Okay, so that's just two blocks. Well, it's kind of... 
It's kind of a weird thing. Be about there. Ish, we'll see. Oops. All right, so then Oh, right. Okay, let's try this again. It's still not liking it. Boy, it's right on it, isn't it? Let's try coming out from the side. Now that's too far over anyway. Okay. So that center is right there. Maybe. About to be out of the red block. Okay, that doesn't work. But then, no, that works all right there. All right, let's go. Let's get it properly. Properly framed. All right, so then maybe countertop here, which we could do with this. Do I want to have it straight from there? First off, let's just do it like this. So we got the start of that. that or do I like that? Kind of like that, honestly. I do think, however, this should be the same material even if we don't end up having it be the red forever. I feel like it should be the same back, the same quote-unquote backsplash, if you will. Okay. This is coming along nice. I'm I'm really digging this. This this is perfect for like bread dough, right? Because you got this white surface like it's all covered in flour from making bread and tossing it into the the or, or the pizza oven and the bread ovens ish thingies and flat bread on top of this jobby 
and whatever the hell this thing does, it, it makes perfect sense. Aha. Okay, all right. So if we have that, where would we put it? It needs a chair. We could have a chair near it so they can work it. I suppose this whole side could be, and we could have more prep stuff over here, then this side over here is more of our soups and, uh, and like we have, have these vats, they're full of, um, chicken broth and whatever's not chicken broth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not a cook, but, and then whatever this thing, you know, whatever we're making in this jobby, we'll have to put a green fire in it. This should be over here also, so we need to figure out a spot. So we got to think of how we're going to put these guys, how we're going to have them functioning. Might even go get another one of these. Maybe. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Man, I hope we get diagonals one of these days. <laughs> diagonals would be amazing. Okay. Alright, so we can also work on our other cabinetry over here. Sink water. Oh, oh, oh. No, wrong one. That's okay. We can always find somewhere to put this. Um. Oh. No, no, no. That's not at all what I wanted. Yep, not in free space because of me. I was in the way. Right now, I want this. And I think I can build this into the end of this, which would be amazing. Okay, so... Go back to this. That first. That for a moment. Grab this. Oh, I'm probably going to need a, uh... I am. Okay. Alright, here. Put that back. Take that away. Let's go get a shelf. We need to do the shelf trick. I might have one over here. Not a bench, has to be a shelf. Carved wood does work. It's a little big, but it does work. I prefer the polished, but let's try the carved wood. Okay, now, just so that I can see better. Well, that's still too high. It needs to be just like barely off the ground, okay. I might have to go get the polished shelf. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Looks kind of crappy, doesn't it? Damn it. 
did not it turn out like I was hoping it would. I can do that just by putting a bowl in the thing. Well, shoot. That didn't work out like I wanted. Darn it. Um... Hang on a second. One more. I want to try one more thing. What if we had it like as the end? I mean, not that high, obviously. So where it's just the stone sticking up, and it's part of the end of. Uh, I don't know. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. But it could be over here, though. Because you need water and flour to do stuff, so it could be over there. Alright, so we got our our beautiful countertop. We'll have to see what we're going to do, if we're going to keep this red or not. I don't know that I particularly love it. I, I love red, but I, I don't know if I love it for the backsplash. Let's get our other set of cabinets going. These, I'm just going to simply well not that simply but yeah rock them into the wall so we have uh, kettles that'll be nice So we did Okay. Then it's two across. Yep. Right, it got stopped because of that. So maybe I'll have to figure something out for this side also. We'll see, we'll see. All right, for right now, because it makes it easier to see, let's give us some light out front. And let's put in our second set of shelving for dishes. Here, I need to be up. Something seems weird. Not centered or something? Right. There. Eh, I mean, it looks, looks right. Yeah, okay. I don't know, just something seemed weird. How 
are we doing it about right there looks to be about right okay so now we've got our dish our uh, plates and drinks cups and stuff like that easy for us to get out here and uh, service the king and the guests oh yes right I wanted to build something fancy here as well uh, let's see what should we do type wise I like copper but brass is or bronze is awful fancy let's take a look see what we think To copper, put it up there, put it up there and see how it actually turns out. It's weird because it's in the corner, so it's a little odd. I don't know if putting it out here makes would help or make it worse now because it's going to shut. Yeah, no, I don't like well. Could always move that out a little bit. The bees are coming again. <laughs> We're gonna have to go deal with them. They're never gonna leave. They have found us again. The weird thing is they can't get down inside the base. They'll just hover up there forever until I come out and deal with them. For a minute, I thought they were in the base, and I'm a big old fat liar. Why do you bother me so? It's almost like a meme now. The bees keep coming after you. You're just chilling in your base underground, and all of a sudden, bzz, bzz, bees are here. The bees are here. They're coming to get you. Oh yeah, we were working out here. Okay, do I... Okay, so I could do the thicker part for a little ways and then do the thinner part, maybe. Like a hood. I don't know. I don't know that I like it. Let's uh let's see about moving this thing out just a little bit more and see if that helps with the look of it. Okay, center it. I don't hate it. I just I don't love it. Let's get the rest of it going up top. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, eh. Nah. Okay. So we got this coming. We're definitely going to need a bunch of swag and stuff sitting up here for things. Probably some stuff sitting up here. We could have a, a bowl of something on that. I need to figure out what I'm going to do over here. Boxes, 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 and we have the big barrels too. I think so. Maybe, okay, so maybe we'll continue on our production line over here for baked goods, and then over here, maybe the front half or front section 
is our man you know what I really wish <laughs> I wish we could flip these barrels on their side I know the builders companion can but if I could flip them on their side we could kind of make them look like kegs or something slip the uh, put it on side slip the shower into it so, it so the shower nozzle sticks out of it that would be cool Okay, so if we do this, maybe do it a little bit. So what else? I wonder what I could do with this guy. As far, let's see. Any of these? Maybe, maybe he's he, maybe he's the action for this one. So he's how that works. I you probably uh, <laughs> no. Crap. Putting things too close together means I can't pick anything up probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about for those of you who haven't been in chat before what I do with this let me get my hammer out it's something I I figured out a long time ago you can take a chunk out of the wall this could be really hard with that material that that type of block and you can put it in the wall I don't even know if I can see with this block you know what? Here, let's just do a mock-up because this block sucks the way it uh, pedals out like that. This will give you an idea. As long as you have enough space for it on it. No, let's do one higher that this nozzle bit doesn't stick out on the other side you can use this in a wall to make it almost look like a contraption like a, like a device a, something you use to to um, make a mechanism work steampunk like I guess if you could say it so now you've got this little squishy lever thing on the wall that you can utilize it, not really you can't actually do anything with it but you can utilize it and act like it's, uh, I don't know, working this machine over here or something like that. And it's the inner, inner mechanisms of this machine. That's how you start it up or something. So I think this guy will be good to go with him. Where right side put him. And I'm even thinking... So with these big barrels these big keg barrels I might actually build a cage back here think of like a prison um, you would have if you have like a like a big think like the Middle Ages or something like that and you had your big kitchen where they're they have all their stuff the important things would be locked up so the wine the the expensive dishes and stuff like that would be locked up because they wouldn't want any of it to get damaged or stolen uh, drank when they aren't servicing important guests I think it's like a local baron and there's and and the king and the queen stop by to stay uh, and they've got to you know put all all the fancy wear out and all that stuff and they've got to make sure that so I'm thinking maybe that's what I'll do back here and just have it a display um, Let's go get some, actually. So, like, uh, uh, I don't know, an open display that, hey, don't go into this. This this is where we keep our good stuff. Um, 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 this one? This one. Nope. Nope. Wait, where the hell is it? Oh, no, it is this one. All right. And this, and a gate. So let's go build a kind of like prison, but really it's just the expensive pantry. All right, now of course I got way too much crap in my way again. How much space do I have left? A little bit. And that would be 
be it. Okay, so let's maneuver around here. That ah, made it. Don't need a billion Athenors over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. Just put them over here for now. Maybe put them over there. <laughs> this dumb collision, man. Alright, get it down. Thank you. Okay. Now, I need to see how big these barrels are and see how I'm going to build this. Of course. This is going to be fun trying to get this set right. Okay, now, if I did a second next to it, should I do a second next to it, or should I just do these along the wall? So I could just do these stacked like that, and then have a space to walk where you have some other things, or I could do them to depth. I think to depth is going to work. Let's get this... Um, nope, it's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Let's find a good spot for one for now. Um, let's go back on the wall, but further over. It's fine. Okay, let's get a little bit more here. I gotta get the other ones. And it's uh oh goodness. Stuff everywhere. Alright, so these gonna nope. These are gonna be our I don't know, mead mead kegs maybe. Now let's do these. Let's see if we can do this on a snap. Let's see where we find a snap. I don't hate it. Okay. Comes up to about the right height too. Could be a little bit taller. But not too bad. Okay. Um doorway. So is it going to work like I want it to, or is it not going to work like I want? Let's find out. What I want to do is use this as the corner. Snapped. But of course, the corner doesn't snap to the other ones, because why not, Keen? Hello, why can't I snap you to the same thing? So it snaps to the door, but it doesn't snap to the actual... Okay. That's fun. 
I do need to use that though, so I'm gonna have to hand place this. All right. Oh, that's a good question. It's gonna have to be like that. I'm gonna have to go to clip it like this. Didn't. Oh, uh, not really. That's weird. Part of it's clipped right and the other part's not. The laterals are clipped fine. It's like it's two different types. Entire, it is two different types. The thickness is completely... Oops, that's so weird. Right. And getting this... Okay. Forgot about that. Let's uh, put a block in so we have something to sit it on. Alright, let's see if we can get this to fit. Okay. Now, Mr. Doorman, are you going to work for me? If I put one th block there, it will work. Okay. Let's put Let's put one block. Well, if we're doing that, let's uh frame the door anyway. Right, Athenor, of course you're in my way. Serious? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bro. I can't even pick up the right one, bro. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, let's just have it floating. That works. Okay. So now, door. Ish. <laughs> it's still not right. Uh, I gotta come out another block? That's still not right. And if I come out another block, it looks weird. You know what? Screw it. We'll just leave it. Come up to this like you need to. That's off by a little bit, but I'm not gonna be that upset by it. I could bury another corner. That's what I can do. In fact, that's really, really what I can do. I didn't really like having this surround anyway. Oh, Athenor, are you going to be in my way again? No. Now, let's bury this in the wall. If I can get the camera to cooperate. Very nice. Um, maybe. Nope. Okay, let's do... Let's get our block up so we have... No, not that block. Oh, wow. Because of where it is, it's going to cover it. Oh, shoot. That's going to be tough. Come from the outside, maybe? Yep, yeah, gonna have to. Okay. Well, do what you gotta do. 
Let's go with this. Let's go up there. Okay, you just want to fight. Maybe one will be enough. Just maybe. Yeah, I know not enough. Okay, okay. Alright, I think I know what I can do. There we go. That should work. And it's too high. I don't think they're matched. They're matched. How is that even possible? You know what? It's close enough. So we got that, and I think, should we have the door closed, closed, like I do in the, should I put a top on it? Because if we put a top on it, you could have upper storage that I could put a ladder to, yep, yep, okay. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I think I want to do... I want to do wood up here. Shroud wood, maybe? Or refined? Maybe refined. I mean, everything in here is stone, though. Screw it. Let's put a little bit of something that's not from here. I don't think refined wood really makes sense here. I think shroud wood makes more sense. Uh, here. Here. Yeah. Let's do let's do shroud. Owie. Okay, so Let's uh, pop on down to Old Shroudy. It's going to be right on top of those kegs. Unless I go one higher. I could go one higher. Seems a little silly. Go on that one higher. Or um, I don't know why I didn't think about this in the first place. What if I just did? Where's it at? There it is. I just did this. 
I really don't like the spikes. I mean, kind of hard to place your stuff up here if you got spikes all over the place. Did this thing stick out? It did not. I can make it stick out, make it look nice. Let's try this again. All right, let's see what I like about. This. See if I like that. One layer of wood is definitely better than two. I don't know that I like any layer. Let's see. Let's pull back the curtain and see if it matches the top of the prison fence. Because if it does match the prison fence, it's kind of pointless. Oh, I didn't even go all the way anyway. Oh, it doesn't match, like, at all at all. Unless it's doing that because I didn't have... Because I had the wood there. Alright, let's... Let's try again. It, it sure did. But then it sticks off way too much, and that's just weird looking. We'll get this right. We'll figure it out. Oh, oh, oh. I think I saw it. That looks right. Yeah, no, no, that looks alright. Okay, let's get rid of the rest of the... Yeah, no, I think I, think I like that better. Let's get rid of the wood. I gotta see if that is sticking out too far. Okay, where are we going? Here we are. Nope, that's where it is. Alright, so we got that. And of course our boxes can go in there, because we need boxes of stuff. We would have all kinds of boxes of stuff stored in here. Lots of provisions, spices maybe. Oh, you know what? Let's change that top one. Way looks different. And let's put just a random bucket on top of that one. too far out. Better. Okay. Maybe one of these. Maybe the, the these guy. Oh, actually, maybe a lot of these. If I can fit more than one. Um, idea being is these hold the... What's it called? Like the... I mean the... Oh, nope. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I wanted. 
Good thing is those snap, so they're easier to deal with. Um, you know, like uh, spices or, or well, yeah, it could be spices and whatnot. Stuff that that's uh, expensive. So this is this is our ex expensive stuff in here. Good way to get rid of a bunch of these too. I think that's good. We could always have one or two of these things out here. And let's see, what else can we maybe put in there? I think we're good on this stuff. Oh, I forgot I got a bunch of crap out here. Ah uh, yes, we have more barrels. Put a couple barrels in there. Yeah, I want the barrel, just the barrel. Yes. And I'll have to get the ladder to have a ladder that goes up and we can have some storage up there as well. Which make perfect sense. Okay. I think Yeah, we only have two buckets left. I think that's good to have just in here as needed. We have a sink over there. Might want a bucket near the sink. All these stools probably be spread out around this space. Maybe there'll be one back there. We might might put in some shelving of things. Might need one over there. And we got a bucket. Okay. Alright, Mr. Bucket. Eh. This this the new bucket over there. So then this over here will make our soups and whatnot. We'll get some prep tables over there and we will finish out the backside of the bakery or whatever we're calling this side, the baked goods side. It's coming along well. We've got a got a pretty and then we gotta figure out our lighting. This one might lend well to the chandeliers, maybe. But I don't mind these in that spot. I think that works really well and it gives us good light. Plus we've got them underneath these which is brightening it up as well. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for the evening. It's one in the morning for me. We're sitting at, what, three hours? Just over three hours for the evening. I appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, Jasper, if you're still on, thanks for uh, all the suggestions. They're working well. Have a good night, everybody. Or day, if it's your day.